So, what is a mole? What is a mole? A mole is equal to Avogadro's number, which is equal to 6.023 times 10 to the 23. So a mole is equal to this number. By the way, this is a huge number. But what's the concept behind this number right here? All right. When you say a pair of socks, what do you mean with a pair? What is a pair? What is a pair? A pair. Oh, this is equal to two. What about a dozen of like eggs? A dozen of eggs. A dozen is equal to 12, right? What about a mole? A mole follows the same concept. A mole is equal to this number right here. Just like a dozen is equal to 12, a mole is equal to this number, which is that right there. Now, when can we use the word pair? Well, when we're referring to something like, like shoes, uh, socks, what about dozen? When we're referring to something like eggs, uh, burritos, burritos. I don't know if you can eat a dozen of burritos. I can't. Now, what about a mole? What we use them when we're referring to something like uh, like um, atom or atoms, molecules, and ions and something and some other things like photons electrons and protons neutrons but for now let's use these three right here now uh, now the question is can we solve a couple questions using this concept let's try to solve a couple questions What do you mean when you say I wanna buy uh, I wanna buy 12 20 let's say 20 dozens of um, of um, something what do you do all you do is 20 and then you multiply by the value of a dozen, which is 12, and you get 240. So all you do is multiply by the value. Let's say you're talking about uh, books. A dozen of books, it will be equal to 20 times 12 equals to 240 books. Right? Now, let's try to use the same concept. What are you trying to say when you say something like 20 moles of atoms same thing what is 20 moles of atoms all you have to do is just multiply by a value of a mole which is 6.023 times 10 to the 23 and you get the amount of atoms which in this case is equals to 20 times 6 more is equals to 1.2046 times 10 to the 25 atoms. So that's what it is. So all we did is multiply the, the amount of moles times its value and we got our answer okay i hope you understand it thank you so much see you next